training lead code solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bossthetraining.org. We are here to help you land your next big offer. So today I'm kind of cutting a slack and uh, we're going to talk about this problem, Spiral Matrix 2. So Spiral Matrix 1, I have a link here. You can check it out and also you can check out the video tutorial here. It's exactly the same algorithm. You We can simply just iterate uh, well, simulated the problem essentially, you know, starting from number one, you keep increasing the number like outside first and then in turn side by side, doing the outside first and then inside after that. Same recursion kind of helper, you know, this is a terminated condition. Uh, one element, one row, one column, and uh, and then this is the, the spiral matrix kind of printing, uh, exactly the same. So the reason I recorded this video is more like I want to pay a tribute to this guy. Remember in spiral matrix one, this guy came up with a one line solution in Python, which is uh, rotating the matrix in the clock counterclockwise direction. Here he's rotating, he starts from, instead of start from outside to inside, he starts from the inside and expand it outside. So start from the n square at first, and then rotate the array eight, nine, and then you rotate the array and add another number, and then you, you ro rotate this and you add another number on top, and then you ro rotate this, and then you add another number on top. So this is his solution. Kind of uh, not that intuitive, but just want to pay a tribute to this guy, this uh, Stefan Pochman, I think uh, he's probably German. Um, uh, German, he's probably Germ German, yes. Yeah, that's all I want to say. The time and space complexity is all uh, m times n because iterators, we have to print out, we have to iterate through the array elements every uh, once and and uh, once and only once. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, happy holidays, guys. Uh, see you guys next year. Bye.